season's greetings. Welcome, come inside. Oh my gosh, it's so cold outside. Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today, I'm so excited to show you the house behind me. We are looking at the Hanwell, and I'm gonna tell you more about the house shortly, but stay with me. We are at Hayfield Crescent by Hayfield Homes. We're located in Little Kimball, which is a beautiful village in Buckinghamshire. And this development is just a stone's throw away from the Chiltern Hills, which is actually recognized as an area of outstanding natural beauty. I love those facts, but let's go straight into the house behind me. We're looking at the Hanwell, this beautiful double gabled, beautiful, beautiful property. Like I mentioned, it's by Hayfield Homes. It's a five bedroom, three bathroom property. There's a little cheeky utility room, a downstairs toilet to add onto that and garage. But let's go through the stats. It's 2,172 square feet. And all the other information is gonna be listed using editing magic on the screen. It's gonna pop up like that, just like that. But obviously pricing availability, that's constantly changing. So you'll have to click a link in the description to go straight to the developer's website to get the up-to-date information on that. Right, let's get straight into the external tour, shall we? So looking at the outside, we've got planting. Now, normally planting is staging, but do you know in this development, there's feature planting provided to the front of all the plots. So what you see is what you get. You get lawn at the back and the garden tour, which we're gonna show you as bonus footage in the rest of the house. But as we're looking at the front, you can see the rainwater goods are done in like a dark, dark black. And then you've got the windows are in a dark gray. You've got a feature porch canopy here. You can see with the metal work above and it's a really good size. A few people can kind of huddle together like on a day like this where it's raining ever so slightly. And then you can see the front door here is black on the outside. I love that. And then we've got the brick plinths, beautiful toned mixed brick on here. But yeah, let's start the inside. And if you stay with me, I'm gonna take you straight in and we'll tour the whole thing together. Season's greetings. Welcome, come inside. Oh my gosh, it's so cold outside. Ah, let me just lock the front door so we can get straight into the tour. This tour is gonna to be so full of excitement, guys. I'm sure you're already seeing little teasers of things. Not only is this show home got a Christmas winter theme, yes, so you're gonna see lots of really beautiful decor throughout. It's also a fantastic house. Let's start with first impressions. So obviously you've come through the front door and what a front door that is. I love the matte black effect, such a statement with all these frosted panels of glass either side bringing in light into this space we're in the hallway the kind of like the main entrance of the home you've got spotlights on the ceiling and they've kind of been dimmed down to create an ambiance so the mood and the lighting in this whole house has been taken down a little bit to create such a peaceful nice and calm vibe now you're probably noticing a few different things than your standard show home right you're noticing things like this beautiful framing around so they've added architraves to enhance different archways and openings such as the front door so that beautiful front door actually also has that stunning framing and that profiled edge all the way around I love that not only does that kind of accentuate the front door it goes all the way vertically down and connects to our skirting boards which run all the way around the ground floor and do you see how the paintwork is matched perfectly to the architraves because sometimes they go with the standard white there's no standard word, <laughs> no standard feature in here. Everything is very bespoke, tailored and classic, classical. So I love the fact that the paintwork is actually matte. And then even though we've gone with the same paintwork, this is actually done in like a satin effect. So it's nice little kind of details like that that we're gonna see. I did forget to mention this, but I will not 
or kind of miss the chance to point out this flooring, this coir matting that you see running from like wall to wall, it's beautiful and it's inlaid. So it's exactly the same level with the rest of the flooring. The flooring throughout the main ground floor is actually this beautiful, large format tiling by Minoli designer brand. And you can see by going square and going large, it really makes the space feel like it's flowing really effortlessly. I love that. So, right, um, shall we go into the first room? Yeah? So the first room we're gonna go is, is this one here. So you probably notice there's no door here, but guys, this is already set up for a door if you want to customize it. It's just great to have that flow. So it's currently staged now as a dining, a formal dining area, and you transition off that tile into carpeting plush plush carpeting i've noticed the sockets in this space are actually in like a polished chrome i love that and if you notice on the wall we've got a thermostat that's a hint to say the whole ground floor is well has underfloor heating i love that things like this are staging of course and decor like the curtains but again when you have things like this which is this pop-out bay window with the low level sill that comes with the house the sills are done in like a white high gloss finish and the window is gray or well white not gray white on the inside and then gray on the outside from here you can see the garden that we talked about earlier and you can notice oh maybe you won't actually you're here to let me me tell you what to notice so you might have not noticed but they've switched up the colors again so extra attention to detail as we're looking around over here we've actually got white skirting and white architraves and we'll probably insert a clip of that to show you what we mean so in the hallway everything's very cohesive and subtle but then when you come into the rooms everything is kind of lifted up a shade we've got another large window over here again with the same low level sill both of these open and i like the divisions in here it's kind of a nod to traditional architect to traditional architectures styles back when we couldn't get these large pieces of glass we had small pieces and they had to have these divisions in them these glazing bars so yeah from this view we can see the front garden the front access to the property and then it's a dual aspect room and right now we've actually got a six seater shown in here but you can imagine you probably can fit in an eight seater because there's room around the, the table but yeah this is the first room that we're showing you let's go back into the hallway you can see little peaks of the Christmas decor and let's go over here to the next room so this room is the study it's labeled as the study slash home office you can see all this bespoke carpentry that's been done as staging just to give you an idea of what you can get but you can just see like because the architecture is so logical and so well considered, all you have to do is just bring in furniture and you can definitely make this room very cozy. So it's a home office, but again, it can be a spare bedroom for a guest and a playroom maybe, or a cinema room. It's got a view of the front garden. And what I'm standing here to tell you is that this room and like any room on this development that's labeled as a studio or home office is actually got improved sound insulation so you, i don't know if the microphone is picking this up in here it, the acoustics are fantastic and that makes it great for working from home so yeah let's come back into the hallway and go into the next room not before touching on the doors one of my favorite aspects. So you can see the type of doors we're seeing in this development, beautiful single paneled linear kind of paneled door with these beautiful profile details. Yes, that guys, usually that's like an additional cost from your standard kind of four panel doors. And again, it's done in that beautiful satin effect. You're gonna notice in the hallway, we're seeing these beautiful matte bronze um, ironmongery. So the handles are in a matte bronze, the light switches are in a matte bronze and then the hinges are in a matte bronze attention to detail again and yeah we're going to show you um the inside of this star cupboard and you're going to notice or well you've probably seen straight away there's a light over here a spotlight and the flooring continues in because sometimes people think oh it's a star cupboard let's just 
cheapen down the flooring, not in this case. The same quality flooring is taken all the way in. And in here, we've got our consumer unit and then all the electrics, all the services that power this house. And behind that door is the underfloor heating manifold. So it's easy to access for servicing. I love this. I'm so excited. Are you excited? If you are, this is a fantastic time to like the video and subscribe for more quality content. We've got the staircase. I will talk more about that shortly, but let's move around here and look at this room over here. So this is your downstairs toilet. Wow, okay, again, blown away. So in the downstairs toilet, you'll notice there's a lot of like decor pieces against the wall. Of course, they're not gonna pick the candles, the diffusers, the vases for you, but you do get the glit, the mirror, not the glass, the mirrors, inlaid in the wall as standard in all the bathrooms in the property that's great to know we've got half height tiling here and i just also wanted to mention that you're actually looking at the signature signature specification which is the standard specification across the houses in hayfield crescent i love that yes standard is the signature the signature specification is the standard I love that so we've got a two-piece suite we've got a toilet and a sink by Laufen and the toilet is a hidden system toilet you can see the face plate there in the chrome and then you've got the edging strips across the tiling and that is all the way around and it accentuates the tiles and then at the bottom we've got sealant which stops um, drafts kind of going across so you know, it definitely makes the underfloor heating system and the air source heat pump that the kind of powers this whole system. It makes it work efficiently when you don't have drafts and cracks across the flooring. So that's that room. And now we ha kind of have to swap places. So let's spin round so I can show you this space. And I really wanna bring up the kind of the drama really and show you this open plan, kitchen, living, dining space. Wow, stop there and let me go all the way to the back. How many steps? One, two, three, four. <laughs> you know, definitely quite a lot of steps. Hello, hi, hi, welcome to our property tour. We're property vlogs. Did you like the video? please like the video, let other people see this fantastic house. But you, whilst you're watching the video, can you see what we're seeing? This is incredible. Aluminium, bifolding doors to the garden, lots of space, lots of furniture. I mean, look at all the space here. Do you want a large dining table? You can put one in here instead. And it's a triple aspect room. One, two, three aspects. Looking over the side, the back, and the other part of your garden. But let's work through this method methodically by starting in the kitchen space over here. So, I can't wait to show you this. So let's go through the kitchen. So, ah, kitchen, on, kitchen, fridge on one side, freezer on the other side. If you've ever wanted a fridge that fits the size of property, this is it. This is a home where that's been fully considered and there's no humming, guys. The appliances are fully integrated. And you can see here that the fridge, you can't even tell there's a fridge in there, but there's no humming, there's no buzzing. Fridges, appliances, ovens, they do make a little bit of noise, but the acoustics, incredible. So that is your fridge and freezer. I want to mention the style of the kitchen is again complementary to the wall colours and the tones in this house. You've got a shaker style fridge and freezer and cabinetry and then you've got these kind of like modern brushed chrome or brushed metal handles. Love that. Again, underneath the plinths you've got the baseboards have these lights that kind of like a soft glowing led oh i love that and then again the kitchen itself is like an l-shaped kitchen with an independent kitchen island so there's wall mounted kitchen units as well and these are taller than your standard as a tall unit on purpose and it goes all the way to the ceiling yes i always want that when I see that in kitchens. All the storage is going to be hidden away in that kind of uh, cabinetry there. So yeah, we've got our bank of sockets on that wall. You're going to notice in the kitchen, we've got the chrome sockets here. You've got beautiful quartz worktops as well with a um, beveled edge, a stainless steel, steel sink, one and a half ball. And then you've got 
this amazing tap. I wonder if you can tell already. It says in syncorator. I love that. That is beautiful. Mix the tap there. You can get instant hot water over there. So that's another hint to the brand. And again, underneath are the workings of that instant hot water sink there by Insincorator. So in front of our one and a half bowl, we've got a window. The window looks over the other side of the property. And again, both of those open outwards. The windowsill is done in that beautiful quartz worktop. So anything about any, anything about water and splashes are easily mopped up without causing any damage to paints or tiles. Again, that's a beautiful elevated level of specification. We've got the fabricated grooves in the sink, uh, in the worktop, and then again, more storage and it's all on soft closers. Love that. So there's no banging or clang clanging. We've got here our in integrated Siemens um, dishwasher. That's another beautiful touch there and then another socket there you know coffee machine you know can go there blender and then wow one two three four let me do that again let's make sure we're in frame one two three and a four yeah so part of this development you're gonna get um a brochure that's going to tell you all the appliances available so this is a combination of microwave ovens and your ovens and they're all integrated at such a good height for you to kind of access so there's no kind of like awkward bending over but again like I said there's four appliances there that is not your usual specification normally you come with two but we've got four here and then we've got storage above and below I love that Ta-da! Fantastic on soft closers. So that is the main kitchen space. Now let's talk about the kitchen island. Looking at the kitchen island, you're gonna notice that it's got a rounded corner to the worktop. I love that so you're not like bumping into it, hurting yourself. This part of it actually oversails and is cantilevered. You've got an additional two seats that can be accommodated on the kitchen island. Coming round this side, we've got storage, 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 and then we've got an induction hob with a downdraft extract fan there. So that's where all the smell goes in. So you're not going to have an issue with having like a massive bulkhead above. And then around this side, we've got another overhang. So you could actually put in two more seats over here. And then we've got four seats shown over there. I want to mention actually, we've also got like a pop-up sockets over here with the USB. Love that. So that's really, really functional. And I love the Christmas decor in this kitchen. We've got the kind of the pens above it. And yeah, so there's more storage around the other side I haven't shown you just yet, but moving through the tour, I just wanted to show you the little kind of features of the kitchen. So that's the kitchen space. Now I'm gonna show you the living, kind of the open plan living area. So it has that beautiful flooring like we mentioned earlier. Here you can see you've got a window facing the side of the property, large doors facing the back. Yes, they are by folding. They're not the UPVC ones. They're kind of more upgraded, more durable, aluminium framed ones. And then we've got all of this space in the middle for you to play with. And before I continue around, this would be a fantastic time for us to actually show you the garden tour. So we're gonna show you the garden tour right now actually through the door feature of your bifolding door so step outside and i think it has stopped raining for a second let me just show you what you're looking at look at the tiling there that's stunning i absolutely love that and doors are white on the inside gray on the outside you've got the lighting which is at entrances which is making it so that you never have it so it's like super dark when you come outside you've got that little nook there for barbecues and parties or like you know you can just put something in there that little thing humming away quietly is the air source heat pump you've got the lighting either side of these doors as you can see timber fence where you can come into the garden that's another way in you've got your garage door over there can you see the cladding on the garage as well that's something unusual isn't it or out of the ordinary i should say i love the color selection of the actual paving tiles and then you are obviously sat in that feature kind of gazebo enclosed air with the fairy lights but you're not going to get that as standard that's just to give you an idea of what you can have on on a, and on a day like this it is such a fantastic bonus so yes you're going to get your paving 
I love this, <laughs> lawn. And things like the amount of paving has to be discussed and negotiated with the developer. So now I just want to show you the kitchen space that they've done here. Isn't this such a fantastic idea? You can see the grill, the outdoor sink, the outdoor fridge, and you can just see this is a house for entertaining. And what they've done with this area is such a good idea. It's fully kind of enclosed. You've got the shade, so when it's really hot, you're nice and cool in the space. And from here, you can see the rest of the house. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love all of that. This garden around there as well. And you can just get an idea of what you can do with the property. From the garden, you can see the rest of the house. From here, you can see it's kind of like L-shaped in the floor plan. You can see the brick and the dark gray windows. And yeah, guys, that was a garden tour. And now I'm gonna join you inside. And now that we're back inside, let's continue the internal tour. So you can see that they've showed two armchairs over here. Again, they're large armchairs, which means you could probably swap these out for like an L-shaped sofa. There's a lot of flexibility in terms of layout and furniture arrangement, but it's just an idea of what you can put in here. They've got a large window showing the side of the garden over there. There's a little bit of like a nook there as well for the garden space. And yeah, <laughs> just in case you thought that was it. Nope. There's also a utility room in here. Come with me and let me show you the utility room. So in the utility, you've got cabinetry, as you can see, storage, and I like this open unit as well. So storage, storage, storage. And in case if you expected there to be a boiler, no, there isn't one here because we are operating off air source heat pumps, remember. So you've got the quartz worked up again. You've got the sink, a large sink by Frank. And then here we've got the mixer tap by Frank. We've got storage underneath the sink and then two spaces for appliances either side. Again, you're seeing Siemens appliances, which are typically what you're gonna see at this development. And then there's a window in here. So you can close off the door and not feel like you're cut off from the rest of the world. You have a window here. And that is the utility room. Still has that underfloor heating. It's not like a leftover space. It has been fully considered as part of this home. And I think that's the last room on this floor, or is it? <laughs> there's more guys. So now that we've shown the kitchen, now let's come back out and show you this room. But first, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Hi guys. So what a fantastic touch, which is this clear glazed paneled door, which allows you to kind of connect with the rest of the space. And what a bonus space to have. Not only did you have your kind of study, slash home office, you had your open plan kitchen, you also have a formal lounge, what a large space. And I love, love, love the staging here. Here you have access to the garden, which we saw earlier, and you can see the configuration here as well is actually white on the inside. I just wanna point out, we do have trickle vents as you would expect in a modern house. And then you've got your cabinetry on this wall, of creating a focal point with the TV above your fireplace. I love that. So that's the formal lounge. Now let's come back out and I'm gonna take you now upstairs. So now that we are on the first floor slash upstairs landing, you can see it's a U-shaped landing and it connects all the way with the ground floor and it's such a spacious landing like as you can see me walking around it i'm gonna start the tour don't worry but i just want to highlight the upstairs we're looking at radiators actually so downstairs was ground floor heating upstairs is radiator we still have that amazing specification with the framing around all the doors off the landing slash hallway and then we've got the matte bronze um complementary light switches and ironmongery and hinges to all the doors. So let's go to the room. This is the first bedroom on this floor, but it is actually staged as kind of like a bonus dressing area. It's very indulgent, isn't it? I love it. So you can see by the size of this room, it's a single bedroom and you would have to use your imagination to imagine there would be a bed over here and then you could have a bedside table by it and where you are you'd have your wardrobe here so right now we've obviously got a dressing room which is a fantastic idea you know a room you can lock up away and just it's just such a nice idea it can also be a nursery 
or it can be a playroom, like I mentioned, a kids' playroom or a cinema room, or this could be like a bonus homework area or a study. Completely up to you. So you can see here we've got a bit of the kind of a staging show and the the, the bespoke joinery, but in terms of sizing, it's a good size. You've got a large radiator under a window facing the garden, and that's the first bedroom on this floor. Now here's another bedroom over here, a double bedroom. So in this room, we've got good proportions, good space at the foot of the bed. Yep, I love it. It's not tight at all. And then we've got um, bedside tables either side. I love this floating dressing table here. I think that's where your wardrobe would actually end up going. So you can see when they put in furniture to give you an idea, you could obviously opt for just your standard wardrobe, but they've put in additional furniture to kind of give you an idea of different things you can do instead. This room also has a view of the garden and you can just see how beautiful the garden is from here. And yes, today is a bit of a miserable rainy day, but as you can see, the home itself has such a lively, beautiful vibe. Ah, who cares if it's raining outside? Now, let's keep moving. Okay, back into the landing. Let's come back out. Ooh, actually, now, this is something you would never pick up on camera, but I want to tell you, look at the carpeting. Do you notice that normally you have these like metal transition strips and they're like so in your face between every single room and it cuts off the flow of the material. They, like it's literally giving like a continuous carpeted vibe. The way they've done it, they've gone the extra mile to make sure there's no seams, no visible seams in the carpeting. So when you're walking across the rooms, you don't kind of go soft, soft, hard. I love it. And I noticed that as I walked in the room, I was like, I'm not used to it being soft all the way. I'm used to kind of that interruption. We don't have that in this room. And now, Another bedroom. Yes, another bedroom. So this bedroom, as you can see, large bed in the middle, bedsides either side, and then you've got your fitted wardrobe configuration over there. Yes, I love that. And you've got a large window facing the front of the property. So that's how we came into the development. And then you've got a radiator, a large radiator over here, and then bonus space. Bonus storage space here. It's your own dedicated closet, pretty much. Love that. So it's been shown with shelving and like a clothes rod at the top, but most likely you'd probably have two clothes rods. That's if you're into hanging space, if you need hanging space. But of course you have your own wardrobe on that side, so you don't need it. So this could actually be like a linen store or Christmas decorations can be thrown away in there. And it has a light switch, which means it's a super functional and versatile space. Now let's go back into the landing. And now I wanna show you the family bathroom. So this room, because we are changing from the carpet to that Minoli tiling, you've got that transition strip there, as you'd expect. And then you've got the tiling here and that beautiful Minoli wall and floor tile pair so nicely together. Here we've got a four piece suite and it's a spacious family bathroom. In the family bathroom, we've got a large bathtub over here, a little shelf for a bit of decor, you know, it's such a great place to actually put like towels or things you need rather than kind of stacking them all around the bathtub. And then you've got a window as well, bringing in lots of light and ventilation, half height kind of like shelving there. A well, I call it like a decor shelf because you see that a lot, you know, vases, candles, everything is on there. This mirror, which is normally like an upgrade or not included is a standard uh, fitting so you come in and it's literally moving ready you've got your shaver socket there right above the shelf so you know things like your you know your um what is it called your char your electric toothbrushes can be charged easily on the shelf rather than because you know sometimes the sockets are put in really awkward places so this is completely logical you've got your bath your toilet your sink by laufen again this is a floating vanity so it's easy to clean underneath and then you've got your large shower with this beautiful beautiful kind of hinged glass door so you'd come in what go into the shower space and then extend that outwards for additional coverage and to protect the rest of the flooring from additional spray. And my favorite feature, which I saved for last, is this, this beautiful feature. This thing is like, ah, oh, 10 out of 10. Shower valves, 
shower valves and controls outside of the shower area. So imagine, let's do a bit of role play here. I'm coming in and it's a freezing December morning. Well, I want to turn on the shower. Do I have to go into and under the shower, turn it on, quickly run back out? Nope, not, I don't have to do that. This is such a beautiful touch that considers the home, the occupants of the home. You can turn it on, leave it for a couple of minutes and then, you know, get it nice and warm before you go inside the shower. Now we're back in the landing and there's more house to show you. Are you still following? Are you still looking at all the little treats like these beautiful, ah, solid wooden balustrades? Let's go into the next room, which is over here. Wow, I love this room so much. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Okay, so dual aspect, mm -hmm. one and two. Window there, a window there, which is great for like looking over. You know, sometimes you do want to observe what's happening around your property in a really kind of like casual way without having to put cameras or stuff like that. You can see who's kind of walking when your guests are arriving. Dual aspect is the way to go. So in this room, you can see you've got an oversized wall-to-wall -wall headboard. Yes, that is staging furniture. I know, I wish it came with the house, but it's just showing you how long the space is. You've got bedside tables either side, a huge bed in the middle, yes. Whenever you see like several cushions, that's a huge bed. And then you've got a large radiator, a large window, and one, two, three. We've got three opening lights in the window. I love that. Um, and then, oh, this is nice. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, that's great. And then we've got a bonus over there. We will show you before we leave this room, there is actually also a wardrobe over there. So maybe the camera will just pan over there really quickly and show you the um, wardrobe space and then come round again. And then we can now show you what's in this room, which is an ensuite. Oh gosh. Ah, an ensuite mirror right in front of you. So it's literally already fitted. You don't have to worry about, you know, where your mirror is gonna go, your, your uh, shiva socket as standard. And then I love this storage shelf. Who would have thought I could be so excited and in love with a storage shelf? But again, all your linen towels can go in there and there's so much space you could probably fit in the towels for this floor in here. But then remember, there's also another closet and another storage room in the other room. So again, that could be all yours. It could be all yours. We've got a three piece suite. We've got a toilet, sink and shower by Laufen. And then again, the shower valves are, are outside of the shower area. You do have that rain head uh, feature, which I didn't mention in the previous onset, but there was one. And then you've got a handheld as well. And it's an Aqualisa power shower kind of vibes. And then you've got your um, towel, chrome towel rail on there. And now let's go to the room we've all been waiting for, but not first, <laughs> without showing you this room over here. So this is our, wow, this is our hot water cylinder. This is the Daikin, um, well, the powerhouse. It's running all your showers, all your heating, all your radiators, and it's powered off the air source heat pumps that I mentioned before. And now we're about to show you the room we're all waiting for. Through this door is your primary bedroom. Vaulted ceiling, before you miss that, I would not let you leave this room before we point out that there's a vaulted ceiling in here. Yes, and I love the kind of the built-in speakers there in the showroom. So you can see here, because it's vaulted, look how tall the headboard is. It's been taken all the way to the top and then we've got the bed, a large super king bed with large bedside tables either side. I love the way they've kind of pushed in the socket. So right by the bed, there's an opportunity to have a light switch here. So when you're in bed, you don't have to get up and walk all the way back out. I love that. And of course, things like the lighting and the staging really, really kind of accentuates and really really, really highlights all the bespoke architecture. You've got a window facing the garden. So again, the primary bedroom is just perfectly positioned facing the garden where it's quieter and you know, you have that beautiful landscaping to look at there. And whilst you look over the garden, I'm gonna squeeze round so we can swap places again. And I'm gonna now talk to you about the dual aspect nature of this room. So now you've got two windows, yeah, 
creating a bit of symmetry. Looking over the side nook garden, TV point over there, optional obviously if you watch TV, and then a thermostat there, which in kind of um, implies that this room can be independently controlled. So we've got another large radiator here. Oh, sorry guys, this is the first of this radiator on this floor. And then another thermostat there. I love that. I'm gonna show you that in a sec. In fact, let me just, let me just do this because that's just too good to spoil. We like to build up a suspense. Come with me and let me show you where I'm currently standing, which is in your walk-in wardrobe room. Look at the storage, because we have that tall ceiling height, we have ample storage. Oh wow, and you probably think, well, you can't get there anyway. Well, you try and find, actually, let me start with the fact, most people have lofts for storing additional things, and that is such a faff to go into. In this case, just get a little stool and you can access the stuff you don't really use regularly. But again, look at all the storage and it's really beautiful carpentry on soft closers. Oh, again, I see that kind of matte bronze ironmongery, that nod to that detail. Everything is mirrored, of course, which gives kind of, um, it gives, uh, it increases the illusion of having more space, but then again, it makes it so that you can actually use the doors as mirrors as you're getting ready. So that's beautiful. And then we've got here an ottoman, like a little stool, and then a window here as well. So it's a dual aspect walk-in wardrobe. And then we've got a large dresser here, which could be easily, you know, pull out this stool and make up getting ready area. I love that. And now I'm gonna show you the ensuite, which is through this door. Wow, okay, this medicine cabinet vanity is a standard fixture for the primary bedroom in the signature collection that we're looking at in this house type. I love it. Double vanity, did you notice that? Yep, and they're both floaty. Love that, his and hers. Yep, and then you've got the window facing the side again, large freestanding bathtub with a wall-mounted tap beautiful and then you've got your ah that's nice and warm heated towel rail and then a large shower with the shower valves outside the shower space again have you seen this beautiful marble effect tiling it matches perfectly with the flooring it's still by that gorgeous brand minoli and then you've got your toilet there hidden behind the door so if you come through there's a lot of privacy i love that right that is the ensuite. It really is such a lovely space. Like, if you haven't got the excitement from me so far, <laughs> just look at my face like I can't stop smiling. Now join me in the main primary room. Now that we're back in the primary bedroom, the main space, I just wanna say thank you so much for following us along this gorgeous house type, the Hanwell by Hayfield Homes. Thanks to Hayfield Homes for this tour. And yes, we have another house coming up soon. So you've got to subscribe and stay tuned for that to pop up. Thank you so much for watching the video so far. Like the video and leave a comment and we'll see you shortly. Bye.